Good morning. This is day 41. And we're at the Colony in Ski Lodge and it's raining. We were originally planning to take a Nero here um, and head out today, but it was 100% chance gonna rain and there's flood warnings from Maine. So we thought we would uh, just take a zero here and do some slack packing tomorrow because they offer that. This, uh, this place has been really great to us. It's, uh, it's huge, it's great. I think it fits 63 people. So they just started opening it up to hikers last year. Um, so it's fairly new on the hiker uh, trail, but it's definitely a good place to go. They'll pick you up um, at the trailheads and take you back and you get a, anyway, it's a whole system thing, but it's it's really worth uh, come, coming to check out the old colony and uh, ski, ski lodge. But uh, so we just woke up, we're gonna, it's I think seven in the morning, get some coffee downstairs and there's a great little place to get some breakfast down the street. And we washed our clothes. We're in, I don't know, some snazzy Lona clothes, which I always do like at a, at a hostel because then you get to wash everything, um, which is nice. And we got to dry out our tent. Our shoes are drying out now. Uh, because it's a ski lodge, they have those lovely boot warmers. Perfect for drying out wet feet. Um, and I got a TV and a rec room, a huge full setup kitchen so we can make our own dinner, save a couple bucks there. Um, they're all bunk rooms, there's no private rooms, but uh, here, I'll give you a quick tour of one. Let's flip on the light. So this is kind of the bunk rooms and they have a male floor and a female floor. Um, Jeff and I, we have a whole bunk room to ourselves because they don't have the, the bubbles are kind of all scattered and they're pretty, um, uh, they don't have too many guests right now because there's a bunch stuck below and a bunch stuck above. So it's actually, I think there's only like maybe a half dozen of us in here right now. So it's really quiet, which is kind of nice. Um, so yeah, so Jeff and I have an entire bunk room to ourselves instead of a private room, but it's like 25 bucks a day. Uh, once you pay for like a membership and you have that for a year so you can come back at any time and spend 25 bucks a day and get a bunk and a full working kitchen and etc so yeah it's a really great little place um but we're gonna just uh, get our stuff done relax and tomorrow like i said slack pack um through the next section because that just sounds lovely to dry and a lot of people do it from here, so it's uh, pretty handy. Uh, we're in North Woodstock. And I'm gonna get my day started with coffee next. Okay. So, this is some of the, the lodge. A little, little big downstairs where the kitchen is. This is the entranceway in. Got a little seating area out here. The lovely boot warmers. And that's a little town. And you got a uh, little Wayne's Meat and Deli. They made a really good Reuben sandwich, really big Reuben sandwich. And uh, you can pretty much do a complete stock up there, but there's a Price Choppers in town. Uh, they'll show you there, no problem at any time. Um, and we got laundry literally 24 hours a day just around the corner so it's a really good little setup they got here so all right cafe time This is the downstairs part of the lodge. They got a big fireplace in here, bar, couches. I guess this is pretty. Lots of bathroom. Uh, place to eat, place to store your food. Access to a full-on kitchen. 
which is pretty impressive. I made my freezer and a big fridge to put our stuff in, so that's a pretty cool little place. Just a little update. Ooh, it's about uh, four o'clock and it's pouring again. It's been doing that off and on all day. We did end up going to uh, the supply store just to get some gear. Well, I got a new raincoat, yay. So yeah, so I got a new raincoat because um, my frog togs was trashed um, from all the branches last time. And they had a sale on at the gear store. So yeah, I got a new raincoat. Um, but that was pretty much the only gear they had. They didn't have much. I couldn't replace my backpack. I've yet to hear from Z-Packs to find out what they can do about uh, my busted uh, stay right now. Like I said, I've been using a uh, bandana to kind of hold it together. So. I'll have to continue that until until we, we can go somewhere where we can get it fixed. Uh, but we're slack packing tomorrow, so I won't be using it at all, which is nice. So we'll be doing the 17-mile uh, uh, Franconian notch um, over the Kinsman uh, slack packing trip. So it's going to be a hard scramble, so I've been told. Um, the weather's supposed to be good and sunny, so that'll be great. And right now, Jeff and I are just really, we, we went to the store, got some resupply uh, for the next section after the slack packing, because we figure we'll be on trail for about four or five days till we hit, um, oh, I don't even remember the town. Anyway, the next town over, um, which should pretty much get us close to being out of the whites, if not completely out of the whites at that point. So we're getting close to the end of New Hampshire. Actually, I think the town we, is kind of the borderline of New Hampshire and then we'll be into Vermont which we've got a bunch of nobos here who's told us that uh, it is uh, nice and mucky you can't tell but it's still pouring out there um, yeah that Vermont is really muddy but you know whatever it's been raining non-stop so what do you expect right so short of that uh, we're just gonna rest and relax get some dinner I think just having a beer and down a YouTube vortex right now. This place has been great to hang out. So we'll be, like I said, slack packing tomorrow, here tomorrow night, and then they'll shuttle us back to the other side where we can continue on with our four or five days. And so there's not really much to report. Um, the town of uh, North Woodstock and Lincoln are really cute. Uh, we did run into some of our Sobo family um, while we were in Lincoln. Uh, I think we've pretty much come pretty close to catching up to most of them. They're still about a day ahead of us, but uh, that's okay. You know, we all hike roughly the same speed, so I'm sure we'll catch up with the rest of them and meet some new people along the way. So that's pretty much it for today. And uh, this is kind of our zero day because it is raining and all, I mean, there, there's been flood warnings. There was even a tornado warning for this area which is shocking because we're in the mountains, um, but certainly the flood warnings. So that's always a concern with the amount of water that's been out there. I know one of the trails on the Kinsman um, trail that we're gonna be doing, we're gonna have to do a bypass on one of the creeks because it was impassable this morning. So with the extra water that's happening now, it definitely will be impassable tomorrow as well. So we'll just have to do a um, short, short bypass, but we'll see when we get there. So that's it for tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, just gonna do a little break to see, get some food for dinner tonight. You can see the really dark clouds hasn't gone away yet. And uh, maybe we'll take a quick little walk down north Oops, stop and see what we're all about. And there's our Wayne's Market, which is great for the sandwiches. Just look up the street a bit. Sounds is just it's not a very big little well, it's not a very big town at all. It's a tiny little town. But 
but it's a cute little town. It's in Lake Country, Ski Country. And again, like I said, it's part of uh, is it Lincoln as well. Catches. Some cute little houses. Downtown looks kind of packed. Let's go check it out. Little antique. Lots of antique stuff out here. bit more downtown. Pretty much ends and then it just turns the corner and turns into a little bit a couple miles down the road turns into Lincoln. Good morning we're on day 42 getting our feet soaking wet. We've just started our slack pack of the Kingsman Mountains. Oh, ooh, well, the rain last night. I just rained all day. Yeah, anyway. My trekking poles go up to the grip in the boggy section. My feet are soaked because there was no alternative to go around but to go through. At the beginning of the day, it's going to be hot, muggy, and probably sunny. So, yay, sun, but no dry feet. <sighs> and the first part of the day is up, up and up with wet mu muddy feet but par for the course as we've discovered again like i said we're slack packing so that's nice we got about 16 miles to go today i think uh, we are going to have to do a detour because uh, one of the brooks is impassable because of all the rain and flood warnings we've had and our goal today is to try to beat the old colony ski lodges. Uh, this year's, they have a record. Eight minutes, eight hours and 40 minutes. Eight hours and 40 minutes. So that's what we're gonna try to beat today. We'll see if that's possible. And I gotta turn this off so I don't die. Okay, so we're just at Eliza Brook Shelter, taking a little lunch break. It has been a muddy, muddy slog. We're about halfway roughly, so now we just have to go up 2,000 feet and then down 2,000 feet. So, <sighs> it's been a tough day getting here. Jeff busted one of his poles because that's just what happens. Uh, so, yeah, we're looking to get this day done. It's around 12.30, so I'm not sure how long the big schlog hike is gonna take. It's a bit of bouldering from what I understand, so hopefully we won't need our poles at all and we can just pack those up and it won't be too much of an issue. And there, uh, he's resting, drying his feet because our feet have been soaked since the beginning. We just, there's just so much water out here. All right, we're gonna get going.
And we continue up for another thousand feet. Okay, we're almost at the top of South Kinsman, 4,800 something feet. I think the last 2,000 feet up have, were pretty much steady up, up a few waterfalls because of all the rain. And ah, so you can tell I'm out of breath because it is muggy and hot. A little bit of a breeze going. Yeah, it's like 90% humidity today, so uh, it's pretty hard to get a good view up here. Everything's kind of hazy. But I'll show you what kind of a view we got. So, up in the Alpine scrub again. view oh. and yet somehow there's still bog up here. Hey, here we go. just finished our hike. We came down lastly off of there and now we're in the parking lot. It was a 16 mile day. I think we did it in about nine hours. We are tired and done and ready for it. Day bloody. Yeah. It was a rough day but the terrain uh, really kind of was really either straight up and down, rocky, or just plain old swamp so it was uh isn't that just new hampshire and maine that's just new hampshire and maine so yeah we're uh just waiting for a ride to get back and we got one broken pole so time to go home get some food drink, all the, drink all the beer all the beer and figure out our plans for tomorrow it is hot humid and muggy and we are done